Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Project Hospital. Um, I am very excited. Um, I've had absolutely amazing comments from you guys, both in YouTube and on the Discord. I had some very good um, advice from, from Kevin specifically, so thank you so much for that. Um, we will be trying some of those things out. One of them are, um, is, is actually makes so much sense, but never, I, th I think I've tried it in the past, but didn't work or maybe it's something new i don't know or maybe i just did it wrong um, and the first thing is to open the clinic overnight so that we can continue to sort these people out um, so what i'll do is i will at least hire a, a couple of er doctors so that we can continue the emergency clinic overnight we'll see whether we need that in the other um, departments as well um, or whether this will be fine so if we get um, patricia over here she's practical diagnosis and she's comforting um, mark is unpleasant and has a resistance um, david lee is a good boss and is a hedonist <laughs> whatever that means so I, I think we'll i'm not gonna see what robert's all on about i'll grab patricia so we'll hire patricia so now the clinic is open overnight it seems so simple i have no idea why i haven't done this till now um should we pay some more money we don't have that much money left let's just let's just stick to one doctor for the evening and see maybe we'll uh, we'll grow that as is required the other thing i uh, decided uh, that that i think we should do is try and um, manage some of our doctors ourselves so that we can work through um, through the numbers a little bit quicker. It seems like that is definitely much easier and quicker to do. So let's try doctor mode. And it's the first time I've done it. I have no idea how it works. It seems like I, I don't want to do any of this. Um, so I'm guessing if we do that, it's, ah, it's intern mode, it's resident mode, and it's and it's specialist mode. No, we're not. We're going on normal mode for now. So we need to control some doctors and keep the view centered on the selected doctor. Anyway, that's fine. I think we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and open, uh, put all of these guys in here. And what what does what does these uh, these background colors mean? Everybody seems to be pretty much okay. Linda Lee, you're one of those, and. Christopher Lopez. Who's Christopher Lopez? You Christopher Lopez? Michael Hill. Let's add Michael Hill to the mix. Okay, Michael. Um, I'm assuming... Um, these are five. So I'm assuming we've got a couple of doctors over here. We've got James Martin and... Um, Lisa Clark over here. So let's do James Martin and... Oh, I can only control six of them. Okay, well, actually, let's let's start it off with just three and see how that goes. Monitor patients is collapsing. Um, ooh, there's some pro proper bad hidden symptoms over here. You're already... Ah, you need to be... Open wound. Uh, we really need to start doing some physical examinations and things over here so that we can sort you out. Honestly. You're in HDU. Hopefully, we can sort that out a little quicker. Okay, uh, procedures have finished. Go to, please. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so it's pretty clear that there's only this one thing that we can do over here. There's still a hidden symptom there. So let's just see. What do we need to do for this? We need um, thrombolytics. So we will... Why can't we do that? That's not good. Procedures are finished. Scheduled procedures are finished. Last was cough suppressants. The patient is waiting for you to plan another treatment or send them home. Okay, that's perfect. Um, I'm very happy to do that. But the first thing I want to do is kind of figure out what's going on over here. Um, I need to be able to assign you some stuff. So I'm assuming I need to... Is that hospitalized? Should I hospitalize you? There's a condition where inflammation of the veins result in inf uh, formation of a blood clot that blocks one or more veins. So if we do that, this is saying special medications that solves and destroys form clots in the bloodstream, which reducing passage of the blood and organs required room offers diagnostic units um, at the cardiology department. Okay, so what I need to do is I actually need to... No, wrong button. 
Can I send you to the cardiology department, please? Uh, it might be too late. Anyway, rookie mistake. We will uh, walk that one off. Okay, now, common cold over here. Um, this suppressant stuff has all been... Um, at least the patient is waiting. Okay, and that's fine. I think we're okay. Um, there's some hidden symptoms here, which I don't like. But we leave it over there, so... But anyway, we will... Because we're just trying to get into this, we'll send them home now. Okay, another one. Let's have a look. We'll see what this patient is... Ooh. Okay, so we need to... I'm assuming we need to transfer this patient to the internal medicine department, the salmonellosis, so that they can get antibiotics. We can't assign the antibiotic. Ooh, we can. Hmm... Right. Just in contaminated food or water. Um, shall we just... There's a hidden symptom. But shall we just go ahead and assign the antibiotics? Um, it's medium stuff. Should we, should we hospitalize this person? Should we send them... Should we... Should we send them... I think, I think we should send them to... Let's send them over there. That's what we'll do. We'll send them over to go and speak to a doctor over there. Um, okay, that's fine. Do I need to... Um, does this stuff um, pop up? Uh, 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 this is too much for me. Too much. I can't, <laughs> I can't deal with it. Okay, so this is... Again, in, uh, internal medicine, um, I can do that. There's some hidden symptoms there as well. Um, shall I just send them over? I think so. I think that's what we should be doing. Do I, do I need to kind of look through this or... What does this mean? Okay, let's see. So there's some stuff going on over here. Okay, let's see. Now... Now we've kind of figured out that there is some eye pain. So we will start off with maybe a physical examination. Then we'll do uh, ophthalmoscopy. <laughs> ophthalmoscopy. I have no idea what that is. Doctor's office. Observation room. A procedure where the fundus retina is visualized through. A, yeah, let's do that and see if that um, gives us any... Uh, physical exam and we'll go ahead with those two okay another procedure is open and ready okay now here we can see um, sarcoidosis is the only possible one but there's some hidden symptoms over here but let's let's go for that straight away and see that we corduroy steroids and rest eye drops Ooh. rest okay so we'll do um that with some eye drops and uh rest okay is that is that kind of kind of what we what we need to do um okay i believe you're okay so you can now go home time i hope so um okay this was done okay we found some more symptoms here Blurred vision, eye pain, watery eyes, red eyes. There's still a hidden symptom over there. Basic visual test. Let's do a basic visual test and see if that uh, comes up with anything else. Okay, procedure was finished. Yeah, that's fine. I sent her home. Uh... Oof, I'm 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 getting a little I'm getting a little flustered here. Um, let's uh, let's close that one because that one will pop up again. Okay, so now we've got a patient here that's got some stuff that needs to be done, but this needs to send. I need to send this patient to cardiology to get this treated. I can't do it. I can't do it over here. So let's send the patient over. Thank you very much. Hopefully our specialist doctors can deal with that. Procedures are finished. Um, let's go to, we didn't get anything else from this, um, so I'm not sure what our hidden symptom is, but, and I have no idea, so it can be either one of these guys, so we need to really find out that hidden symptom. Um, shall we do a little bit of neurological testing and see if that has anything to do with what we see here? 
we're learning guys we're learning this is uh, it's completely new to me and my my medical knowledge is is pretty pretty scary uh, that didn't help us either can we do special case review that reduces the amount of possible diagnoses can only be performed by a doctor with advanced diagnosis bill well let's do that and see what that what comes back uh, now it's a 50 50 shot so let's do microbial sampling because that's the only other thing that we can still potentially do here okay Okay, procedures are finished. Let's have a look. The interview was done. There's a lot of symptoms that's still requiring. So speech problems and fatigue is being done. So let's do some speech listening over there. Um, probably a physical uh, examination as well as a, as a starting point. Fatigue. Yeah, I think that's that should give us, give us a little bit going on there. Oh, yeah, there we go. We've got it done. So speech listening was good enough. So we'll um, assign the insomnia there. We'll provide some sleeping drugs. Is there anything else that we need to tranquilizers, antidepressants, fatigue? Uh, okay, let's just go with a little bit of rest as well. Sleeping drugs and some rest should get you sorted out. I don't want to overprescribe medicine. Okay, excellent. So that's done. Ooh, am I missing some stuff here? Let's quickly go through this. This is some night sweats, fatigue, and sore throat. Um, so maybe a physical examination, uh, neck palpitations, that'll, that maybe gives us a, a bit of a starting point there. Uh, okay, neck palpitations was done and we didn't, didn't find anything. Okay, well do a temperature test and maybe a oral inspection. Nothing? Uh, oh, I need to send you home. Let's do that. Uh, go back to this one. So still... Uh, ooh, I've, I've lost that one. Then this one, oral cavity inspection, nothing. Ooh, hang on. Go to this one and we'll see that. I'm, I'm struggling with this a little bit. Okay, so we have no idea what's going on over here. So shall we say, what does evaluation do? Consider all symptoms and examinations. Recently carried out to specify the diagnosis. I don't know whether that's quite right. Night sweats. If you did episodes of extreme sweating during the night, fatigue. Is there anything else that we can do? A chest? Should we do it? Let's let's do some speech listening. I'm not sure. Either of these. How would we how would we know this? Fatigue that cannot be explained by any underlying medical condition. Okay, and this one. Infectious, okay, can't say all of those words, usually get infected into their childhood, there is no vaccine for the for the disease, in the 1920s it was described as the kissing disease, okay, so uh, I'm assuming that that means sampling, right, so speech listening isn't going to help that, we need to actually do the sampling to figure that one out, okay, so we'll leave, leave that one for now, thank you very much, now procedures have finished, go to that last interview, Watery eyes, photophobia, there's a lot of stuff that can be done. We will be doing um, that one and that one. Okay, what is this? Complicated diagnosis. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, so let's see. Wow, stroke. Not good, not good, not good at all. Um... Blurred vision, headache. What does this do? Is an eye examination used to evaluate the drainage system of the eyes? Mm, not sure. I'd rather do this one and we'll see how it goes. Any other stuff that we're getting in there? Uh, let's just get the doctor to try. Patient is collapsing. Go to that patient. Close this one down. Oh, here it is. Uh, we've got some fancy symptoms over here. Maybe that will just, I'm assuming they will just pick that patient up and take them to trauma care. Okay, we'll get our trauma guys to sort that one out. Where, oh, I'm on, a, on the top level. Let's go down. Let's uh, have a quick look at what's happened over here. Okay, foot contusion, you've got it. So we need numbing ointment only, right? Okay, so foot injury, bandage, bruise, ice wrap, numbing ointment, analgic swelling, ice wrap. So we'll just do 
numbing ointment and ice wrap and we'll say there you go should be fine should be fine <laughs> send you home <laughs> okay okay uh physical examination was done okay we did find a few things over here um it's still a number of possibilities here so let's see what can we figure out so conjunctivitis known as pink eye is an inflammatory disease of the outermost layer um, of the white part of the eye we're learning some stuff over here they all use antibiotic ointment huh? yeah so we can just kind of just do it anyway Ooh. but they're all neurological no it must be uh, i think Keratitis is an inflammatory disease mostly caused by bacteria of the cornea, the eye dome surface of the eye. Uh, oops, oops, that's not what I did. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, but it's an inflammation of the eyelid. Um, so how do we, so it's definitely not going to be any of those. So let's try uh, microbial sampling and we see if that, if that gives us a, a better, a better shot. Okay. It's quite stressful to do all these things, and I'm wondering whether we're doing a better job or not. Okay, let's have a look. Microbial sampling came back with nothing. Nothing. What does this do? An imaging method used to visualize the lumen of blood vessels and organs, particularly the arteries, the veins, and the heart. I don't think that is what we need here, is it? Can't be prescribed at this department. Okay. What we need to do then basically is send this patient over to neurology, neurology for, uh, for further examination. And maybe that's what we should have done in the first place. <laughs> I don't know. Kevin, you'll have to help me out and, and sh tell me how I'm doing on my, um, on my, uh, on my doctor's mode. Okay, so the doctors do the basics and then they just kind of tell you some stuff to do every now and again. Okay, so nail discoloration, <laughs> nail fungus or athlete's foot. There are some hidden symptoms there. So let's start with a, with, a, with a physical examination so we can see. Let's go to this one. There's some itching going on. So let's at least start off with a physical examination so that we can see if there's some other symptoms that we can deal with. Uh, okay, let's go to that one. See, aha, here we see some more stuff. Nail thickening and crumbly nail. Ooh. Um, let's do some some sampling over here because if it's some kind of fungus, we probably need the, uh, need some sampling so we can figure that one out. So let's do that. Thank you. I'm not sure if I'm more effective or less effective than the other guys. Let's have this. Okay, so we see crumbly nail yet again. So athlete's foot will be um, provided here as the um, as the diagnosis and we'll give an antifungal ointment um, i don't think we need to do anything ant antihistamines foot cream do we prescribe all of that to, to do all the all of this anyway that's fine i think that's fine we'll prescribe Ooh, it's still it's still seen as untreated Okay, there you go. Thank you. Bye-bye. Are we moving through this quicker is my question. <laughs> well, we'll know if we get, well, end of the day and we haven't done much, but at least the, uh, the place is staying open now. Patient is collapsing. Is this a patient I know? Wow. Lots of stuff here. Um, thank you, doctors. Please do what you can. Think the end of the day has come. Okay, it's finished. Diagno uh, procedures have finished for a diagnosed patient. Go to, let's have a look. Um, okay, so liver medication is required, but there is some bad symptoms over here. I probably need to figure that out a little bit in a little bit more detail. Is this a, this is the general surgery department. I don't have anybody working now, so should we, how will we figure out? Jaundice, hair loss, loss of appetite. Oh man. Okay, let's let's read about this this thing. Describes as a condition where the liver is malfunctioning due to long term damage. Normal liver liver tissue is replaced with scar tissue. Okay, so we've been able to diagnose that, but how can we test some other stuff here? 
Shall we do a physical examination and maybe a urine analysis? And a, yeah, well, let's do that. I want to find that other symptoms. Okay, now we've got someone through the interview over here. They've got fatigue. Um, and we have no idea what else is wrong. So let's do a physical examination. And let's do a speech listening as well. Let's see about that. Okay. I wonder if this doctor mode thing is actually working. Okay, so we found out that headache is also a thing through physical examination. Uh, so headache and fatigue, it's not making it any clearer what this is, what is going on over here. Let's do a temperature test and maybe chest, chest or auscultation. Auscultation? Yeah. Um, okay, what is going on here? Uh, the clinic patient has been seen by a doctor, hasn't been seen by a doctor for a very long time. Did I... Why are you over there in that department? None of this, I think, should be there. So can we move you over to the emergency department, please? And then what we'll do is we'll give you an, ooh, we'll give you an interview and a physical examination, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's have a look. Any other thing? Oh, there's also a fever, and I think the fever is the, is the important one that we've got. But that alone is not actually giving us anything. We're still nowhere closer to getting this sorted out. Open diagnostics table. Ooh, look at that. My goodness. Okay, okay, okay. So now we can see that if we've got those things, it might be sinusitis. In which case we need to check about okay but that did that wasn't there so it's probably not that one if we then see what's oh this is quite interesting but this can be really involved you really need to almost be a doctor to to want to want to do all of this tenderness so what what would give that physical examination we've done the physical examination so it's not there um physical examination not this one not that one neck palpitations okay we can certainly have a look at that but we haven't found any of these guys but i think it, it means that at least a neck palpitation is something that we that we should uh, well we've done all of the some of these things already okay okay that's interesting physical examination chest Oral cavity inspection. Okay. Well, what I'm what I'm keen on doing is let's say we'll do the neck palpitation. Okay, and we'll do a oral cavity inspection, and we'll see how that goes. Nothing. Okay, she's about to leave. Um, actually, we've got all of that sorted out, right? So we can just tell you what you need to do. You need a numbing ointment. There you go. I'll just prescribe quickly um probably wow do we need to kind of provide all the other stuff maybe just just one or two of these right i have no idea if we're doing the right thing or not but we are treating people and having fun okay let's have a look so all of our additional help has not sorted us out at all how do we do open symptom table Okay, so fever is medium. Ah, maybe this is how you show what you should be do. What you should do. Okay, so physical examination already delivered us some stuff here, but we're waiting for three different symptoms still. So, what else could we do here? We that um, that kind of makes sense. We've done this stuff. Let's do a nasal cavity inspection. Not that I think that's the one. Um, and an abdominal palpitation. Let's try that. We're learning. We're learning. I know you doctors out there must be crazy. That we must be saying I'm crazy doing what I'm doing. 
Uh, okay, so that's been done and we haven't found anything, right? We're really not finding anything. So the question is, do we go... So if we've got that, right, there's some all kinds of stuff here. Okay, so what else could it be? If we can figure out one more, right? So let's say, so mum seems to be... So from these things, I mean, we've done all of this. It's definitely not that. Physical examination didn't bring up any of these things. So I'm like, you know, worried. There's some stuff that we haven't haven't figured out yet. We've done the physical examination. We've done the chest. We've done chest. Neck palpitation, we've done. Physical examination, we've done. Physical neck palpitation, physical, physical, chest, oral cavity, yes, we've done that one, oral cavity, chest, and physical, so we've, so literally the next line of symptoms on all of these cases is, 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 is tested negative, so that's something that's asymptomatic maybe, a lot of this stuff is physical examination and interview really, This is a difficult one. This is really a difficult one. I, I'm struggling with that one. Shall we? Let's have a look at some of the basic things that we can do. Let's do ear inspection and something like that. And maybe this one. It's not great. It's not great for us at all. Okay. So I need to have a look at these statistics as well. That's another comment. And if there's anything that's critical. Yeah. So we didn't have. Ooh, but we have to go department by department. Um, hospitalized everything is still seems to be okay and we still have time to to sort out uh, a few more patients during the evening maybe we'll get to up to the 80 now um, okay let's see so go department by department and say come on is that do we how do we Doesn't quite, doesn't quite, okay, ah, okay, so I have to click here, nothing critical there, nothing critical here, nothing critical there, nothing critical here, nothing critical there, we don't have this, ooh, we've got one critical room in cardiology, and we only have the one room in cardiology, so it seems like we need some more stuff there, but everything else is, seems to be okay. Anything? We're not getting any... Oh, yes, there we go. Another symptom. Oh, and now we figured it out. Okay, so it's giant cells arthritis. So we'll assign that. We'll we'll say what that is. And this needs to get corduroy, corduroy steroids. Um, since we know cardiology is closed at the moment, let's, uh, let's assign that. Is there any of the other stuff that we can can try and help antiparalytics oh, so if we have a look at this ooh, so that one that one needs to be resolved discomfort is high so so what we'll do is we'll give the antiparalytics and this one needs oh there's nothing we can do for loss of vision sorry about that buddy um but i believe that should be okay treated please go home i hope it's okay <laughs> We're not putting you into observation. Okay, these are underway. Okay, nice. So these doctors are not working at the moment. So let's clear clear that out. And we've got two doctors presumably working the evening shift here. Let's have a quick look. If we go in here, we've one. We've got one doctor working the evening shift here. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe that is absolutely sufficient. Um, it's Patricia Jackson, so if we go back to doctor's mode, we'll get Patricia Jackson on here. Okay, you are the one that I'm going to have a look at. Okay, let's have a look. So, we figured out what you have. Um, you need some antibiotic ointment, which we will give you. The other thing that we need to check is which of your symptoms is bad. None of them. So the antibiotic ointment is all that it'll be. We'll send you home. Thank you very much. You are treated. Ooh, go to microbial testing. Um, we just sent you home, right? 
Okay. Now, what's going on over here? Ooh, there's something, something bad. Diet modification? Oh no. We won't be able to hospitalize you. But diet modification. This guy's going to collapse. And there's some other stuff going on here. Ooh. Okay, diet modification, definitely. I see you hospitalization. I think we should. <laughs> I think we're going to send you to ICU, please. Okay. Uh, just, just because we probably have ICU beds available. Yeah, so you can you can go over there and we'll monitor you a little bit more. Um, let's have a look. You're already hospitalized. You're in septic shock. Um, you're undergoing treatment. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully, anyway, hopefully we'll give you the best care we possibly can, and hopefully you'll not end up in. Okay. Okay, excellent. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed in ICU hospital because we just gone ahead and monitored patient. Hang on, is collapsing also. So the this is some hidden symptoms, and I've got no idea how we deal with that. So that's already ICU hospitalized. Um, okay, the other one. Hang on, let's go for the other one first. Which one? It's this one, the right septic shock. I think send this patient away because we don't have a bed and I'm not going to be able to afford... Oh, I might be able to afford a bed. Anyway, we'll send that one away just because I'm struggling to deal with all the stuff that's going on. Okay, let's try and figure out this piece. So defibrillation is underway. Let's just go to um, this patient all the way over here. We need to figure out... Uh, we need to do an ECG so that we can figure out what is going on over there. And we need to do that really, really quickly. I think diet modification straight away is not gonna is not gonna help you right now. Um, so we need to figure out some more stuff there. So let's get an ECG. We'll do heart monitoring as well, and we'll see if we can figure that out while there's a long. Oh my goodness! Who needs to go where from here? No, that one is that one is is, is ready. Oh, temperature measurement. You've got. Really? Where are you? Waiting for a free... Okay, so that's potentially a critical thing. That's okay. I'm not going to... I'm not going to deal with that right now. I, I want to check up on what we're, what we're able to do over here. After defibrillation, I'm waiting for us to do some stuff. Um, procedures have finished. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's bronchitis. We will... Okay, that has been assigned. So what does that mean? We need to give you antibiotics. Also, are there some other things that... Uh, oops, no, that's not the one. Um, I'm after this. So the medium stuff is chest pain, fever, and breathing problems. Okay, so... Fever, chest pain, and breathing problems. Okay, so let's do... Antibiotics, this one, that one, and analg analgesics, that one. Okay. Okay, send home. Thank you. Uh, thank you. There's no free bed for the required hospitalization. Uh, that's not good. Monitored patient is collapsing. This is the other one. I believe we... No, no, we still haven't figured that out. So how are you supposed to get some of this treated? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Anyway, we need an HDU bed in internal medicine. Let's go upstairs and see about that. Um, internal medicine, right? Um, we've got lots of regular beds. So many, in fact. Okay. We have a bit of money, so let's go ahead and try and add some more prefab, internal medicine, um, what are we after? High dependency unit, or, yeah, that's what we'd need. Um, we don't have room for that right now. We could probably afford it, but let's go with this one first. Uh, we'll just do the one and then we'll add, we'll have the room to add an extra bed in there. So we'll just do that for now. 
um, and then hopefully that is the that is a okay let's head back to our doctors over here I believe that's it there's no patients hanging out over here Ooh. okay so these patients are hanging out these patients are hanging out okay so we need okay this is this is exactly that so I do in fact need to quickly give all of these other departments an evening doctor as well so evening doctor over here I uh, don't have that much money but let's go and let's do this and see what we can deal with people person okay that's you're the one Thank you. Let's move on to general surgery over here. We'll get an evening doctor over here as well. Ooh, night owl. I know there's some more extra stuff there, but let's just let's just go with this for now. Um, then we're going to cardiology over here. We'll get an evening doctor as well. Ooh, that's not quite what I'm after. Well, if you're working at night, is that the, still the problem? I do like the night owl thing over there, but some of the other things just seem to be too too problematic. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Fast metabolism. And a diagnostic genius. Let's... Well, it's so much cheaper. Let's do this one. I know, it's a problem. It's a problem. And then the last piece was over here at Neurology. We'll grab another evening doctor over there. Um, I think this one is fine. No bad, no good, no bad perks. Okay, so with these doctors in the night shift, hopefully we can sort out these others. Um, this patient is collapsing, typhoid fever, exhaustion. I'm assuming you can deal with that. Already hospitalized. Oh my goodness. We're, okay, so we need to... Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna. This patient's gonna survive because we can't seem to be getting this stuff done. This patient is collapsing all the time. Send the patient away, please. Thank you very much. I don't want anybody dying on my watch. Okay, so we're doing a few things here, and we're waiting for that TC hospitalization is underway. You are currently examined. You are currently waiting for a bed. Aha! But you should be moved. Um, hospitalized and collapsing. Hmm, with a bit of, you should go into ICU, but you're waiting a bed in ICU as well. So hopefully with us moving that one out, yes, yes, hopefully the bed will be available soon. I've sent this patient away. Collapse patient was waiting for too long and it's being thrown, okay, fine. That is just fine, just do that. I'm trying to send that one away. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, there they come to come and get that one. Um, okay, so then we have some ICU beds available yet again. Procedures have finished. Okay, let's have a quick look over here. Um, so, so now this just never ends because we're, we're working day and night. Um, okay, so you've got... Okay, you've got this. That's fine. That's the only thing you have. Um... Antibiotic ointment. Is that antibiotic ointment? Yeah, absolutely. And let's see what is medium over here. So these two are medium. What can we do for that? Um, recommendations and eye drops. Let's give you some eye drops. There you go. And recommendations. There we go. Just doctors do do, do your thing. Sorted. Thank you. Oh, we didn't actually get... Oh, but now we're actually getting a head start over here. Procedures are finished. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. It's been gone on, gone on long enough. Thank you so much for watching. Have you enjoyed doctor's mode? That's the question. Do you want us to continue to try and do this kind of thing and get it managed a little bit better or spend more time actually just dealing with the, um, dealing with the construction of the hospital and the ramping up? Uh, what we do, no, uh, ramping up all of our services, noting full well that we're not as efficient if we're not managing it ourselves, even though I don't think I'm very efficient at it either. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments down below. Join us on the Discord where there's a good discussion going on on Project Hospital. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.